Hello, I'm Paul Seven Lewis and welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. In a moment, I'll be reviewing Typical, starring Richard Blackwood. But first, may I remind you that you can read my reviews at oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk and if you like musicals, please listen to my radio show on Box Office Radio and Mixcloud.com. So, Typical offers us a day in the life of an ordinary man, a typical man. A typical black man? Well, that's the question. He gets up, he looks forward to the weekend when he'll see his boys, and then he fancies a night out. He goes to the disco. By the end, he's dying in a police station. Not so typical. But in this play by Ryan Callie Cameron, typical has many meanings. And one is when people stereotype a typical black man. It's a one-man play, and a huge burden is placed on the shoulders of Richard Blackwood. There's no set. Uh, Mr Blackwood mimes, he mimics other characters, he speaks constantly in a stream of consciousness. The good news is that this is not a typical performance. It is exceptional in the extreme. Well, that's my one minute review. Keep watching for more about this epic poem of a play and Richard Blackwood's towering performance. In Typical from Soho Theatre, Ryan Kelly Cameron has written a poetic drama uh, and Richard Blackwood is right on top of the rhythm of it. There's a real love of language here and there are joyful plays on words um, that uh, he effortlessly gets his tongue round. Uh, for example, he, he has, it says, sleep in the corner of the cornea. Um, or, look here, I cook here, don't need no damn book here. Um, or another of my favourites. Um, I want to be inside the rave raving instead of outside the rave ranting and raving. I could go on. A protagonist is quite an ordinary man, um, but also very likeable. There are many funny moments, uh, especially when Richard Blackwood mimics the people he encounters. I laughed out loud uh, when he confronted a police officer. The officer saying, do you want to come to the station? Our guy saying, do you want to take my statement? And the two interrupting one another till we got to, do you want to, do you want, do you, what? And all the while, the tension escalates. Anastasia Osei Kufu uh, directed the original play and this film version, which retains a strong sense of theatre, but makes good use of close-ups and quick cutting to different camera angles. When he experiences typical everyday racism, systemic racism, if you like, our protagonist doesn't rise to it. Uh, but he still doesn't avoid a serious racist attack. In the hospital, a, he a head injury has left him confused. But the staff and police see what they want to see. Um, a typical man at the end of a night out, uh, perhaps a typical black man, on drugs or drunk and frighteningly aggressive. The meaning of typical moves from everyday to predictable to expected. Once he's arrested, the police beat him. Typical police behaviour? Well, certainly not as rare as it should be. The depictions of the beatings invite a, a visceral response. And again, they're all mine by Richard Blackwood. The police let him die. We see him die before our eyes in deep close-up, choking on his own blood. It's a horrific, shocking and deeply upsetting moment. Now this is an imagined version of what might have happened to not a typical black person, but an actual man, Christopher Alder in 1999. The last minutes of his life were recorded on CCTV at the police station. It led to a verdict of unlawful killing and an apology from the police force. But no one was brought to justice. It's all part of a pattern that sees a disproportionate number of black people stopped and searched, arrested and dying in custody. But while that is important and this play brings attention to this outrage, I should also say that this is a well-acted, well-constructed drama that uses language and humour and emotional empathy to make us feel the pain of one man's tragic end. I give 
typical five stars. And at the time of this recording, it's available to rent from SohoTheatreOnDemand.com. If you'd like to see my reviews as soon as they appear, please subscribe to One Minute Theatre Reviews by clicking on the button at the bottom of the screen. You can also read my reviews at OneMinuteTheatreReviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.